and Stedman Herwick. I'm a wife, the mom of two beautiful boys, and the creator of Chic Mama LA. This is my new web series, where I pick up other Chic Mamas and their kids for a quick ride to school. Each episode, we will talk about all things fashion and beauty and get some great tips along the way. And it's all from a mom's perspective. Welcome to Chic Mama Carpool. So today I'm picking up my girlfriend, Laura Wasser. She is a family law attorney, probably one of the biggest in the United States, and we're going out to lunch. But I also have another guest. Lucas Ruick. Yes. Um, I've got to drop him off at a play date, so she's going to come with me, do the interview, and then we'll head out to lunch. So let's do this. Great. How are you doing? Good. You look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. You Let's do as well. Okay. You know, I do have to drop my son off at a play date. Okay. Is that cool? That's totally cool. And then we'll cool. do lunch. I love it. Done. That's perfect. Done. Let's do this. Luke is here, Luke. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. How was your summer? Ugh. Busier right? than I would have liked. <laughs> but that's always what happens. I mean, it's just... Crazy. It's so crazy. I always think it's going to be chill. Because well, you are working pretty much nonstop, correct? Yes. And then you are totally hands on with your boys. Yes. So, where do you find the time to do it all? I don't. I'm just <laughs> kind of most of the time I'm a hot mess. That's why I'm yeah. having to take this kid to a play date while I do an interview. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I like to try to figure out and juggle it all. Right. The nature of the working mom. It's like plates in the air. Right, Lucas? Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about what you're wearing. What is going on? Uh, well, because I finally got an opportunity to go like for lunch and I didn't have to have a court appearance or a meeting <laughs> or a settlement conference, I got to dress like a like a chic mama. You are a chic this mama is, lady. This is Etro, which Obsessed. I love, love. So good. And um, my bag, so that I, it is Claire V, who I also love. She's so good. Good times. friend. And. Um, this is something I wanted to show you because it's really cool. I'm not necessarily plugging Hermes, but this is a thing that Hermes sells. It's for the Birkin bag, and you can put all your stuff in it and it has all these little pockets all around. And then when you change bags, working moms, you just throw it in the bag. What? So that you like don't have to constantly be like taking lipsticks and packs of gum and handkerchiefs. And this thing, which I need always with me, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's so funny yeah. is one of my questions was, what's in your bag? Yeah. So do you have well, anything else you want to show? Let's see. What else do I have Show in me, bag? girl. I always have a little perfume atomizer. This is a Frederick Mall, and you can switch out the perfumes. Oh, genius. You never know what you're going to need. Like, when you're going from to here, and it's magnetized, so it doesn't, like, come apart in your purse. So good. Credit I'm already getting stuff. so many tips from you. Yeah. I love it. My many, many Chanel lip glosses. Stop it. I have my computer. Well, you that's know when kind you might of, need to write a exactly. Brief, right? Lucas is like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what is one thing in your closet that you can't live without? Probably these bracelets that say my kids' names. Aww. I also have a lot of luck with my Anita Co. ear cuff that I always have to wear. You, always have to wear. Are you superstitious about yes, it? I, I love this. I am. One time I left it in Malibu and I had to turn around and drive. No, you did not. All the way back because I had an important hearing that afternoon and I wanted to make sure I had the oh ear cuff God. on. All I know. I'm a loser. But I, I, I won. I, I won. No, all your clients are going to check your ear before they go into court now. They're like, wait a minute. You better have that ear cuff on. Okay, we are almost here at Lucas's play date. Bye, dude. Bye. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay. You got it, okay? Okay. Bye, boo. All right. Now we get to go to lunch. Yay! Yay! <laughs> So I know that you are into high fashion. 
But what is your low fashion? Like, do you do a Target? Do you do J. Crew? Or is it just now? <laughs> I do, but for me, my low fashion is stuff that I've had forever. So, like an old pair of Levi's that I've had forever, or an old pair of J. Crew sweats that I've had forever. There are some James purse items. I grew up with James, and there are some stuff from some of his first lines that have just worn very well. Like, it's gotta be old. Oh. And then it's really comfy and yummy. Um, also, bathing suits, because I spent a lot of time in a bathing suit up at the beach. It's almost like underwear for me during the summer. Just yeah. I have a bathing suit on, you don't have to wear a bra if you've got a bikini top. There you go. Eras. I must have How many? 15 solid color Eras bikinis that are all the same, but just different colors. And I start walking around and then my kids are usually like, can you... How about a cover-up? How about, like, why does everyone else's mama wear, like, a beautiful cover-up, like, from Missoni or something? And I'm like, how do you know Missoni? Just can you cover it up? Oh and I'm like, God. okay, okay, um, let me go get something to put so on. So good. <laughs> it does. It helps. If you're walking around in a bikini, you're going to keep your stomach sucked. Yeah, that's so right. And you're just kind that's of That's a good yourself. philosophy. Uh -huh. I love this. <laughs> So I want to talk about um, it's over easy. That is exciting. So as you know, I've been practicing family law for over 20 years. And in 2013, I wrote a book called It Doesn't Have to Be That Way. And it was written because my firm represents really high net worth individuals that yeah. were expensive. And that's great for me, but I have lots of friends and people who write to me and call me and clients who have relatives and friends and people that work with them that can't afford the kind of hourly rates that yeah. people at our firm charge. And I've had tons of people call me and say, you know, you wrote this book and I read it and it helped and whatever. So the next logical step was to take it to the tech market. Yeah. So we've created itsovereasy.com, which is online divorce. Family law is such a complicated process and you need to know the law. I mean, you can fill out your information, but if you're going to make a deal with your spouse as to what, how you're going to share custody or how much support is being paid or how you're going to divide up your assets, you need to know what the law is so that you can get to the next stage in your life and you're not paying a ton of money and arguing over silly things like a vase, which if you generally are paying a lawyer, you can yeah. buy 12 vases. Yeah, exactly. The price it costs to write that letter. So. I think it's something that will really be able to help people and... It's a full service. Full service. And I feel like then you can focus on what's important. Yeah. Is like getting the family, healing, you know, healing. Or figuring out how to co-parent, how to communicate because, again, this is somebody, this is your family. It's just in a different format. Yeah. And I think that people today do see it that way. I think divorce isn't as much of a taboo as it was. Look at our kids in their classes between, you know, kindergarten and sixth grade. There's probably now, I'd say, a 25% of the class that now the parents are getting divorced. It's true. It's it's not great. Yeah. It's happening. And by no means am I saying, like, divorce, get divorced now. I'm yes. not a divorce monger. I just think that, again, it's happening. And if it's happening, I want to help people do it the right way. Well, and you have so many high profile, we don't need to get into names, but so many high profile clients and you never hear what's going on with them. I mean, how do you keep it so private? We have a very, very, you know, no publicity policy in our office. We That's don't great. media straight onto a press line, which is just an answering service that nobody ever returns the calls for. And we're Did really you get careful. that TMZ? Did you get that? Oh, speaking of TMZ, do you know their nickname for you? I know, the Disso Queen. And you know, everybody, Disso is dissolution. So everybody always says, are you like a really good disco dancer? <laughs> do you, when you go to court, is there like a disco ball that turns <laughs> on? It's Disso, people, okay? I don't like the name, <laughs> but at least let's see clear, it's not disco. I'm not that old, okay? <laughs> disco queen. I'm all wrong. <laughs> okay, I feel like we're almost to lunch. Yeah, we are. It's right up there. Is it right here? Mm -hmm. You know my sense of direction is I know. Amazing. That's why I love you, because mine is the same. The two of us, <laughs> we'd be like, mess we'd be the messed up Thelma and Louise. <laughs> They'd catch us immediately, because we'd be like, um, is this the freeway on room we get on? Um, excuse me. <laughs> but we did make it. We did. We, I not only dropped my son off at a play date, we got an amazing interview. To us here. To, boom. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm starving. Oh.
Ach, bitte.